everybody well today i'm going to show you how i clean my helmet well i have a studs ninja 3g helmet which i purchased for about 2000 rupees about three years ago and it is a convertible helmet that is with a press of a button you can convert it into a half helmet anyways let's get to it so first you need to remove the padding inside the helmet here i am removing the cheek padding and it is held on by means of these little buttons uh, which you can see here so you need to carefully remove that all right similarly we uh, do the other side as well the remaining part of the padding is in the front and along the edges of the helmet which is held on by means of slots and grooves the padding is interlocked in those little slots and grooves so remove that carefully and uh, see to it that you don't exert too much force while removing it otherwise some of it may tear so kindly remember that you don't need to apply too much pressure just uh, you know wiggle it out and uh, it's gonna come out very easily the helmet will look kind of like this inside this is a thermocol shell which is very important to maintain the structural integrity and the balance of the helmet now get some warm water add some shampoo to it and wash the padding inside the warm water and then allow it to rinse for at least half an hour till the water comes to room temperature see how dirty the water has become i feel it's a good idea to wash the padding of your helmet at least once in two months because the kind of climate that we live in it's very humid and dusty so it's bound to accumulate a lot of dirt in a shorter period of time so you can see the water it has turned so filthy so the next step is to take some clean water and to rinse the padding again and uh, let it sit for another 15 20 minutes and it's ready to dry after that the drying of the pads usually takes about a couple of hours if you're drying it in the sun but uh, if you have washed it uh, in the evening then it will take probably uh, bit of more time uh, so by morning it will be dried completely in the meantime we will wash the remaining part of the helmet now care should be taken not to damage or tamper with the thermocol shell inside the helmet because as i said earlier the thermocol shell is a very important constituent when it comes to maintaining the structural integrity as well as the fit of the helmet now let's remove the visor of the helmet you can see a lever over here you need to pull this lever in order to detach the visor comfortably from the helmet do not pull it with excessive force it's just a simple procedure just pull the lever and the visor should pop out immediately From here on, I wash the external shell and the visor of the helmet with some shampoo and a sponge dipped in water. The shampoo does give a nice fragrance to the helmet once you are done cleaning. So after the pads thoroughly dried up. I fitted them back into the helmet and this is how the helmet looks now. Beautiful, huh? Wow. I know there are little scratches on the helmet but you can expect that out of a 3 year old helmet. So it looks quite new to me now. And I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and do ride safe guys. Bye bye.